Hey there, it's John with Excel Campus, and in this video, I'm going to share 15 shortcuts for Power Query. Now, when you're using Power Query, you might think of using the mouse a lot to press buttons. However, there are some keyboard shortcuts that can save us time with both navigating our queries and modifying them. So let's dive right in, and the first thing we'll take a look at is opening the Query Editor. So here we are in Excel. Now, of course, we can go to the Data tab of the ribbon, or if you're on an older version of Excel, you go to the Power Query tab. And from the Get Data dropdown right here, we have a button to launch the Power Query Editor. Now, there's no direct keyboard shortcut for this button. However, you can add it to the Quick Access Toolbar, and you can do that by just right-clicking the button and then click Add to Quick Access Toolbar. And that will add the button right up here to the Quick Access Toolbar. And of course, with the Quick Access Toolbar, we can use keyboard shortcuts to press any of these buttons. And you can do that by pressing and releasing the Alt key and you'll see these numbers up here on top of the buttons. So Alt-8 is now my keyboard shortcut to uh, open the Power Query Editor. And of course, you can also move these buttons around so you can make that Alt-2 or Alt-3 or a combination that's just easier for you to press. And of course, another advantage with the Quick Access Toolbar is you can also press this button here with the mouse and you can do that regardless of which tab you have selected down here in the ribbon. Now there's also an Alt sequence to press the Power Query Editor button as well. And that is Alt, and then we we'll press A for the Data tab here. And then you can see we have PN, so PN to open the Get Data uh, dropdown. And then L is the uh, button or the key to open the Power Query Editor. So Alt, A, P, N, L is another one. If you can commit that one to memory, you can press that. And of course, that'll open the Power Query Editor. So next we'll take a look at some shortcuts in the Power Query editor here. And Power Query also uses that same Alt combination. So if we press and release the Alt key here, we can see that we have these key, uh, shortcut keys over each of the ribbon tabs up here. So Alt H, uh, pressing that will then put the uh, keys or the accelerators over each button here. So for example, if you often open the advanced editor, Alt H Q will be the shortcut to do that. So press the Q button there and that will open the advanced editor. And Power Query also has a quick access toolbar. So we can also add any of these buttons up here on the ribbon to the QAT. Uh, just right click those, add to quick access toolbar. And now again, we have a button up here for the advanced editor. If we press and release the Alt key on the keyboard, we can see that the uh, keyboard shortcut for the advanced editor becomes Alt 2. Okay, so now let's take a look at some shortcuts down here in the data table. With any column selected here, we can use the F2 key to rename the column. So pressing F2 will allow us to edit the column name here. Of course, you can retype it. You can press right arrow to get the end of it if you want to add something to it. And then once you're done with that, you hit the Enter key to accept the changes, or you can hit Escape to escape out of it. Next, we'll look at the shortcut for removing columns. So with one or multiple columns selected, you can just use the delete key on the keyboard to delete or remove the column. So I have this column selected here. I'll just hit the delete key and that will remove the column. Now I always like to mention that with Power Query, we're not actually deleting that column from the source data. We're just removing it here from the query. There's also a shortcut sequence to undo. So if you wanna undo that change that we just made, this is not a direct keyboard shortcut. Power Query does not have an undo shortcut yet. Hopefully that will in the future. But if you hit the tab key six times, I'm gonna hit it six times, that will take me all the way over and set focus here to the query settings pane and also set focus to this last item right here, the last action or the last step in the query settings pane after I hit tab six times. And now I can just hit the delete key and that will delete that or remove that last step that I took. So it's a long workaround for undo, but if you get used to tabbing six times and hitting delete, it's a relatively simple shortcut. And I just want to take a quick time out to say that if you're enjoying this video, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the big red button below the video and also head over to excelcampus.com free to join our free weekly newsletter where we send out weekly emails that are packed with tips and tricks and techniques to help you master Excel. The next shortcut is control A to select all of the columns. So press control A that will select all the columns. And of course, this is great if you're doing some type of transformation to all of the columns, maybe an unpivot or a data type uh, detection or anything where you first wanna select all the columns and then apply those transformations to everything. Next, we can use the home and end keys to select the first or last column. 
And this is great if you're navigating a very large data set with a lot of columns. So if you hit the home key on the keyboard, that'll take us to the first column and select it. Hit the end key, that'll take us over to the right to the very last column and select that. And then of course, we can also use the arrow keys to select columns. So if I use left arrow here, you can see that's selecting uh, column to the left, hey, right arrow, that'll select columns to the right. We can also use the control and shift keys to select multiple columns. So if I hold down shift now and then use right arrow, that'll select these three columns. I'm just continuing to hit the right arrow to select multiple columns. And we can use the control key to select individual columns. So I'm first just going to select uh, the product column here. I'll hold the control key. And now if I hit right arrow, you can kind of see that the city column is uh, highlighted there. If I press the space bar or the enter key now, that will select that column. Now I still have the control key held down and I can go over and press right arrow again to the zip code column. Again, press uh, space bar or enter and that will select that column as well. So if you wanna select individual columns that are not together or adjacent, you can do that with the control uh, and space bar keys. Next, we'll take a look at the filter drop-down menu. So first, just want to select a single column here. I'll use left arrow to do that. We can then use alt down arrow to open the filter drop-down menu. So hold the alt key and press down arrow. That will open the filter drop-down menu. Now there's no accelerator keys here yet with those underlined letters. However, you can use the up and down arrows to select these items. You can also use the tab key here to jump down to the search box. So I'll press tab once. That'll jump me down into the search box here. And as you can see, it puts the text cursor there so I can just start typing a search. I can also hit tab again, and that will take me down here into the uh, checklist or the list box with all of these check boxes. And here you can use the space bar if you want to, uh, for in this example, unselect all, maybe down arrow, I only wanna choose alpha, something like that. Then I can hit enter to apply that filter. And before we move on, I wanna tell you about a free training webinar we have going on right now called the Modern Excel Blueprint. So if you're relatively new to Power Query or you're not sure how it fits in with other tools like pivot tables, Power Pivot, Power BI, or even macros and VBA, then this training webinar is absolutely for you. During the webinar, I explain how all of these tools fit together and how we can use them to automate processes and save a ton of time with our jobs. I also explain what it means to be the Excel hero of your organization and how to become one. So if that sounds like something for you, then I'll put a link in the description below this video, or you can head over to excelcampus.com slash webinar to get signed up. Again, it's free and it's running at multiple days and times. So next we'll take a look at the right click menu. If you're using Power Query a lot, you might be right clicking the columns here to choose from some of these items, some of these transformations here. You can actually get to this with the keyboard shortcut as well, and that's using the menu key. Now, not all keyboards have a menu key, but if you do, it'll be to the right of the space bar. And I have some of my favorite keyboards, uh, the Logitech keyboards that I use. I'll put a link in the description below this video to an article that explains more about my favorite keyboards for Excel, and they have the menu key. So I'll press and release the menu key here, and again, that will open the right-click menu for the column that I have selected. And again, here you can use the uh, up and down arrows to select items. You can also press the first letter in some of these uh, to jump down. So if I press A right now, that'll jump down here to this add column from examples because it starts with the letter A. So you might find some sequences there that really help if you use some of these uh, items on the right-click menu frequently. Next, we'll look at the shortcut for the table options menu. So that's this menu right over here to the left of the columns. And you press that and we get some nice options here for the entire table. Now you can also open this with a keyboard shortcut. And you do that by uh, hitting left arrow over to the first column, having the first column selected. And then if you hit left arrow again, that'll actually set focus to the button here. And then you can press the space bar or the enter key to open the drop down menu. And again, you can use the arrow keys here to uh, cycle through these items or some of those shortcuts with the first letter of the item name. And of course, with these drop down menus, you can also use the escape key here to close them. Next, we'll look at the tab key to move through the different panes in the Power Query editor, the different task panes here. So if you hit the tab key on the keyboard, that actually will set focus to different areas here. It's kind of hard to see, but my focus is now set over here uh, to the query settings. I've hit tab about four times to get here to all properties. I can hit tab again to get into the applied steps, hit another two times. Here I can move up and down to my different steps. I can hit enter here to view that step. And so you can use the tab key to get to the different task panes. 
uh, eventually you'll end up here in the formula bar if you have it enabled. So uh, that's using the, the tab key. It's not the most intuitive thing, but if you start to remember how many times you need to press tab to get to a certain area, you can navigate through these different windows and task panes within the Power Query Editor. And then one quick note there with the tab key, once you tab all the way up to the formula bar, uh, it's hard to really tab out of it. So you can hit the escape key here if you do want to get out of the formula bar, and then you can use shift tab to tab backwards through the different task panes and eventually get yourself uh, back over to set focus here on the data table. And then finally, we'll look at closing the Power Query Editor and two different ways to do that. If you just want to close the editor, similar to clicking the uh, close button up here in the top right corner, you can use Alt F4. So hold Alt, press F4, and that will allow you to close the editor. Now, if you've made changes, it's going to ask you if you want to keep or discard those. You can also use the arrow keys here to uh, move through these buttons and then hit enter. I'm going to go ahead and escape out of that. And then the other keyboard shortcut to close and load is Alt F enter. So I'm gonna press and release Alt, press F. You'll see that'll open the file menu here. And then the first button that's already highlighted or selected is close and load. So you can then just hit enter. So Alt F enter, that will do the close and load. And of course, return us back to Excel. If it's your first time creating the query, then it will take you, it'll create the new sheet and uh, set focus to that sheet as well. So that's 15 shortcuts for Power Query. If you have any additional shortcuts that you use frequently or have stumbled upon, uh, feel free to leave a comment right below this video and let us know. We'd love to learn more. And if you have any questions or suggestions, uh, feel free to leave a comment below as well. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.